Alright, what's up? I'm Charm City 187, yo. I'm gonna do a review on the movie Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones. Now, I knew when Halloween came around this year that when there wasn't a paranormal activity out then, because like the last four four years there's been one out for Halloween. I knew that they probably made like they probably fucked up and made a shitty one. And Yes, that is what happened because, you know, this, number one, it's called The Marked Ones. It should be called The Marked Person because only one person actually gets marked. Um, they get a mirror, they spray paint it black, and then they do this, like, uh, little half-ass ritual that's supposed to open, like, a portal to hell or some shit, and... It's three of them that do it, but somehow only one of them actually gets affected by it. How that works, I have no idea. Um, the director, the, they changed the director this time. I forget who the uh, director was before. They I think of the four uh, Paranormal Activities, I think they had two different directors. And then this one had another one, it's Christopher Landon. He was the director and the writer for this one. Before, he was one of the writers for the other ones, but the other Paranormal Activities had two or three writers in each one. This one was just one writer, and the writer was the director, and I, I don't know if that's why it sucks so bad or what, but it, it was horrible. Um, Katie and Micah. Th this is another thing that fucked me up, like, really really big time this all right anna was in paranormal activity three i believe and um she was the um housekeeper or, or the nanny or whatever for the for the kids and Number one, they don't even show her in this movie. In the marked one, she's supposed to live underneath the guy. You never actually see her. I think it's, they just got somebody else to play her because... Um, I know it's not the same person that was in the other one. But I guess the thing followed her from the house or whatever and blah, 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 blah. But... The thing that really fucked me up was at the very end, Katie kills Micah, and this is supposed to be taking place, like, three or four years after Katie had already killed Micah and is already missing, and, I, and like, it just was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm still in, like, I still, like, can't, can't wrap my head around how the guy didn't figure out that she had already killed Micah, like, four years prior. But, I don't know, yeah, the movie's horrible. Uh, I would, I downloaded it for free. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give somebody a dollar to watch this fucking movie. I would not. Yo, it's fucking horrible. And they already have one in the works for, uh, Halloween of 2014, so... I'm guessing they knew they really fucked up on this one, so. But yeah, hopefully the next one's better because yo, this one, this one just straight up fucking sucked. Like this one was absolutely horrible. Like made no sense whatsoever. And yeah, the the last one, the first one and the last one are probably the best ones in my opinion. The one that came out before this one and then the first one. Oh, Alright, I'm out. Peace.